This video production is sponsored in part by Murray Cozy Trucking Limited. With 29 years of experience in Canadian owned and operated, honesty, integrity, and loyalty are important. You can be confident when you cozy up with us. Check out our website at murraycozytrucking.ca. To his outside from Brandon, the 4-H is Grand Hall. Inside row two, another Brandon driver, Darren Boychuk, in the yellow 30. Outside of him, the 84B is Justin Bronk. Row three is Eric Fry inside in the 47, and the 26 is Rick Blaine. On the back row, the 4B is Brendan Rehill and Rick Fair. In the 921, Rick Fair in the 921. a little afraid of, uh, or I'm sorry, Darren Boychuk, a little afraid of maneuver that the 29 car made, I think. I don't know if he actually saw something happen there. Or he was just unsure, but he put himself off the racetrack. Great race, remember. Top four finishers make the, B, make the A main here this afternoon. Four finishers out of each of our four heat races make 16. And we'll take the top four out of the B main to start a field of 20 later on today. Grand Hall in the 4-H with a huge lead here. Big Chad second in the 29 car, sponsored by Don Vito Collision in Glass. The Don Vito Collision in Glass car now being challenged in turn three and four. Rick Fair doing a good job in that 921. He came from the back of the pack. He started in the eighth starting spot and he's up challenging for the number two position. White flag is coming out this time. One to go for Grand Hall. Last night, Grand Hall was in the B main, so he's done a lot better today. Second play. Oh, we got a spinner in turn two. That is who? Justin Bronk, I believe. Checkered flag flies for Grand Hall. Second place still under discussion. They make their way around through turn four. It's Big Chad, the Don Vito collision in glass, number not 29. Third unofficially goes to 921 of Rick Fair, fourth to the 30 of uh, Darren Boychuk and rounding out the top five, the 26. And that 26 car driven by Rick Blaine. We're ready to go with heat number two and starting on the pole, a guy that was lightning fast last night, the number 27, Joe Tates. Outside of Joe, driving the car number three, Jason Somak. Inside row number two from Emo, Ontario, or actually St. Anne, Manitoba now. 
The 17 is Christopher Leak, and to his outside is the 18 of Gary Unrep. Row three has Justin Lee inside in the 84, and to Justin's outside in the sixth starting spot outside of row three, the 44 is Austin Hunter. On the back, this is the number 43 of Brian Simon. We are ready. All right, Pat, it is time for Castro Midwest Modified Heat number two as they roll onto the back straightaway. Joe Tate's on the pole out of Winnipeg in the car number 27, a good strong field of Castro Midwest Modifieds getting ready to take the green flag here on the big four tenths of a mile oval. Eight laps are on the AIE communications board and here we go, we are green, green, green. Joe Tate's first into the first corner, but being pursued by the three of Chris Somak. The 17 car of Leak right there as well. He's out of St. Anne, Manitoba, and trying to charge underneath the 27 car. Three wide, Austin Hunter in the Q8 and Truck Service 0.44 looking good. He is trying to find some traction on the bottom of turn one and two in the bright yellow 44 car, racing now with the three of Somak now on the outside of turn three. Joe Tates goes high, Leak goes low, and Leak could have the lead coming out of this corner, and he does. Well, if you look at the 17 car, he's allowed to run a spoiler on the back of that car because he's running a crate engine. Christopher Leak out of St. Anne, Manitoba, formerly of Emo, Ontario, is your leader. Austin Hunter now coming up to challenge the 27 of Joe Tates. Great young driver, Austin Hunter in the Ewayton Truck Service 44, battling for second, and he's got it. Well, the West End Radiator of Austin Hunter keeping that 44 cool as he now chases for the lead. Leak still leads, Joe Tate's not giving up, however. Fourth spot is Somak. Just a bit of a distance back now. So it is leaked, the 44 of Hunter and the 27 of Tates. That is your three car race here with two laps remaining on the AIE communications board. Austin Hunter looking underneath the 17, but there's not a lot of room, but he's gonna make some. Side by side. Nice job by Austin Hunter, keeping the race clean, but keeping the pressure high on the 17 of Christopher Leak. Leak now wisely stays right on the bottom of the racetrack. Checkered flag is in the air, and Leak out of St. Anne is gonna be your winner in the Berwick service number 17. Second, we'll go to the Kuwait and Truck Service, Red Dot. West End Radiator 44, that is Austin Hunter. Joe Tates in the 27 starts on the pole and comes home in the third spot. The blood record is turning 25. That's 25 years of experience in solving Manitoba's sunken concrete problems. At Mudruckers, customer satisfaction is the core value. From free, no-hassle estimates to the friendly, knowledgeable staff completing the work, they promise to make your satisfaction their top priority. That customer dedication has made Mudruckers another Manitoba success story. Call today for a free evaluation of your concrete problem. Call 99-6833 or check out mudruckers.ca. Well, you, Darren told you that the 17 is running a crate motor. For those of you that aren't familiar with what a crate motor is, is they are, you can walk into a Chevy dealer and buy that motor just the way he ran it. Now, Wazoda, believe it or not, under insurmountable pressure, is conceded to the fact that 
crate motors are probably the way this has got ahead because the cost of the motors these guys are using is getting outrageous. So you can walk into a Chevy dealer and buy that motor for 4,000 bucks brand new. It's supposed to run 80 to 100 nights and save the driver a whole lot of money. So here's heat three, 22K Marko Hankovic on the pole. He's a rookie. Outside of him, the Canadiana Hotel number 12 is Tony Casey. Row two at the 13 of Alex Johnson inside, and Alex is doing a 360 for us out there. Outside of Alex, the 54 is Brody Dobson. From southwestern Manitoba. Forty, fifty-five cars, uh, Murray Cozy in the Murray Cozy trucking entry. To his outside, the 44X started there. And Nick Audette in the 20. Started in the fifth spot. And nowhere do I see in the lineup the 22 car. Whoops, here he is. Hello. I don't see the 22 car in the lineup. Oh, there he was. He was on, I'm sorry. Started on the pole. Now, sometimes we as well sit up here and wonder, why would you put the yellow flag out? As soon as you put it out, he's gonna start. Well, the idea is these cars and many other classes that we race here run a transmission called a BERT transmission. And of course, when these cars are in high gear, it's a direct drive. So the back wheels, the drive shaft, is turning at the same speed as the crankshaft to the engine. Now, that's the, the, uh, the transmissions are extremely durable. The problem is, if you spin a car like that, uh, see he's trying to start it on the starter in gear, and it works. But a lot of times you get hot, they're full of fuel with your foot on the gas, you spin out, the car stalls, they're very hard to get out of their high gear, which is direct drive technically. So that's often why the, you'll see the yellow flag come out, a guy will start up right away and you'll think, what is he doing? Two to go for Brody Dobson. Brody Dobson started fourth.
second final lap to 54 is Brody Dobson, and he comes around out of turn four to the checkered flag. Second spot, oh boy. Second spot is the 12 of Tony Casey, third to the 55 of Murray Cozy, and the fourth and final transfer spot to the feature, the 13, Alex Johnson. All right, Pat, moving on now to Castro Midwest Modified Heat number four, as I'm told. So we're going to go through that lineup right now. Starting on the pole is a guy that won his first ever feature in the Castro Midwest Modifieds. That was a few weeks ago right here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Out of West St. Paul, Manitoba, driving car number 28 on the pole is Channing Spruill. Outside row one and the 0-0-D, David Delane picking up his first feature win. And that was last night here at Red River Co-op Speedway all part of the 2015 Prairie Classic. Inside row number two in the 12L out of Winnipeg is Brendan Lashinsky, and outside him is the 19 of John Hedinga out of Emo, Ontario. Inside row three, this is the Gusta Sod Farms Viert Landscaping, case number 88. The driver is Paul Viert. Outside of Paul, the 6C is Len Carlson out of Winnipeg. And routing out the field in the 5BA is Aaron Blacklance out of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. All right, we are told the lineup is good as we get set to go here in your Castro Midwest Modifieds. We are green. Yellow flag is out. After a quick green, not sure if the lineup wasn't good or. All right, here's the reason for the yellow flag, Pat Mooney. The 88 of Paul Viert jumped the start. Ooh, boy. Ooh, Ooh that's only good if you don't get caught. <laughs> Now, question is, with a yellow flag, that's a yellow flag, it's a one yellow flag roll, right? So now, he's gotta go to the B main. Top four in each of the Midwest modified heats, and there are four of those, top four go to the A main event automatically. So we're gonna qualify 16 cars through these heat races, then in the B main, four more will come out of the B main into the A main, so now, one of the top drivers, Pat, in that class, Paul Viert, has to run in the B main and has to finish in the top four. So we're going to watch that later on in the B main. But right now, we're going Castro Midwest Modified Racing. Wow, the 0-0-D of David Delane pulling away down the back straightaway after a great night here at Red River Co-op Speedway last night. Channing Spruill right there as well. So a couple of drivers, one and two, that won their first features ever in 2015. So you can imagine what that's done for their confidence. And you can see they're looking good right now, both the 0-0-D and the 28 of Channing Spruill. Third spot is the 5BA of Aaron Blacklands. Now that driver, started seventh, so moved up to third already. Aaron Blacklance out of Thief River Falls in the 5BA car. Len Carlson on the move past the 19 of Hedinga. Hedinga out of Emo, Ontario, running fifth.
Astro Midwest Modified Heat number four on the racetrack coming up next. One heat of super trucks, one heat of Northern Lightning Sprints. Great battle up front continues the 0-0-D and the 28 of Channing Sproul. Three laps remaining on your AIE communications board. Channing Sproul now on the inside doing a wonderful job underneath but can't quite make the pass on Delane, but now he does. Channing Sproul gets some traction on the bottom of turn two, roars into turn three as your new leader. White flag coming out, one lap to go here in Castro Midwest Modified, heat four. Len Carlson moves his six car up to the third spot and challenging the 0-0-D. He's got some speed now. Here we go, your winner's the 28 car. Second is David Delane, third is the 6C of Carlson. So Channing Spruill continues to battle in that 28 car and takes the win here in Castro Midwest Modified, heat number four. Great job by that driver. Channing Spruill in the 28 car has been asked to cross the scale again and Darren we know that isn't good news no you <laughs> we're gonna find out what's gonna happen here we're looking for the green light on the 28 car sponsored by S&J construction and atechparts.com over at the pizza pizza scale oh oh I hope he's I hope he's legal if he's a, too light they will disqualify him the Midwest Modifieds uh, Midwest Modifieds need to weigh no less than 2,650 pounds. What color light came on? Did you see? Yes, a red light came out under 51. Uh -oh. 51 pounds light. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. So he's supposed to weigh 2,650, just under uh, just under 26, I guess. And 